Morning everyone, this is Adam Mountain Farmer. It is Sunday morning, October the 1st, 2017. And uh, today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, a couple different things, but uh, it is fall. You can see the leaves are starting to color up a little bit. Although I don't think they're gonna be very, very colorful this year. I think uh, the weather and various other things are uh, to make a difference but uh, so fall is transition time for us on a very diverse farm we are of course trying to wrap up harvest and uh, as with most times of the year we have two or three different uh, steps of our operation going at once and that's what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today and we're going to discuss this implement here uh, kind of as part of a uh, continuation of the uh, equipment we use playlist and series that uh, I started and have not gotten back to but uh, so this time of year what we're trying to do as we finish up harvest is we will start to uh, do our fall tillage and our cover crops now uh, in an upcoming video we'll talk about cover crops and what I use how I use how I put them in so forth so on all that good stuff I, I and, and we'll, we'll just talk about cover crops in general I do not cover crop everything and I'll explain to you why and the reasoning behind that and all that good stuff but today's subject is probably my favorite tillage tool and it is uh, it is known by many names this is a uh, uh, all-purpose plow, uh, a ripper, a modified chisel plow, a nine-tooth, nine-shank plow, whatever you want to call it, but uh, that's this particular implement. And what we've got here is we have nine shanks, and they come in different numbers, that are spring-loaded. And what they do, they rip the soil, and if you hit an obstruction like a rock or a stump or anything, you know, it allows it to trip. And what that does, it breaks that soil up. Uh, it helps with compaction, and it really loosens it. In our area, one thing it does do is it pulls up rocks. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not. Well, let me get a better, better shot of it. This one <laughs> is worn out. It is, uh, you can see it is bent this way. It is bent this way, and several of the shanks are bent. Uh, the goal was to replace this one, and I've got to replace it. It is worn, and you can see you can see here it's actually bent down on this end. Uh, I've had this thing probably close to 20 years, and uh, it's been welded. You can see here it's been welded where it's pulled loose and fixed. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I've had it close to 20 years. And the goal was to replace it, uh, hopefully this year. But, uh, eh, probably not going to happen. This has not been the best year. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. If I can run across one, I'll pick it up. But, uh, like I said, it, it works good. Now, what we will do with this is uh we'll go through and rip <clears throat> when we get done with the field we'll go through and mow it off with a rotary brush cutter bush hog whatever you want to call it we'll mow it off depending on the crop that's in there you know we'll either take the uh disc carls and chop it up and then we'll sow the cover crop seed and then incorporate them in either with this or the disc cars just depending on you know how much weeds are in it you know because the issue with this, as you can see here, is if it's real weedy, it'll just wrap around the shanks. It don't cut them, it balls it up, and it brings it up out of the ground. So uh, that's the way we'll do our cover crops. Uh, if you have a piece of ground that has very few weeds and is highly compacted from harvesting or whatever, this is the implement we'll be using. As you can see, I've got it hooked to the 5205 John Deere, but uh, we will... Uh, uh, this, you know, we'll be using it on both tractors or whatever. Now, the log on the back 
and spring prep even in the fall uh, tendency especially if the soil's compacted these feet will pull up clods and the idea of this log is to break those clods up and smooth it back down uh, need a little more weight that is a six by six yellow locust or black locust log and you can see I just put the extensions on it and uh, put the log on it so uh but that's uh, that piece of implement it, it like I said, it's probably my favorite tillage tool. It does a good job. Uh, now, some of the ground we're kind of getting into the future videos on the uh, uh, cover crops. Some of the ground we will go ahead and turn. We'll mow board plow hit and uh, turn hit, and I'll explain to you why at a later time. But uh, until next time, this has been Adam, the mountain farmer. I want to thank everyone who has watched the videos, and I hope you've learned something and enjoyed them. Uh, there will be some more coming. Uh, how much longer they'll be coming? Well, we don't know. We'll see. Uh, as long as I've got something to show you, I'll keep making videos. When I quit having anything new to show you, I will uh, stop making the videos. So until next time, this has been Adam Mountain Farmer. Like us. Subscribe to us. You know, more people subscribe, more videos I'd like to get out there too, folks. But uh, uh, check us out on Facebook, Rocky Hollow Farm. And uh, the goal for this week is to finish harvest. That's the big thing. Try to get as close to done on harvest as we possibly can and start cleaning the fields up and doing our fall tillage and winter preparations. So, and we've got a lot to do. <laughs> we have got a lot to do to get ready for winter. So, uh, until next time, take care of yourself. Talk to you later.